Good morning, gypsies. Okay, so I just got up. I'm actually still working on my coffee. And um, I just thought that since I wasn't going to have a Dollar Tree haul come out today, um, I, I have several people that had asked me to do a get ready with me video. So I thought that I would go ahead and do that today. What I'm going to do is jump in the shower. It's still relatively early. It's 10.08. I'm going to jump in the shower. I still got my makeup on from yesterday. Like, I never take my makeup off. <laughs> I know, that's horrible. It's horrible. I never take my makeup off at night. So, I still got the remnants on from yesterday. But, I'm going to jump in the shower real quick and just get everything set up. So, I will go ahead and, and just do a get ready with me. I'll show you all the products I use as far as putting my makeup on and my moisturizer and stuff like that. So, um... Yeah, also, I'll try to remember to bring my face wash out of the shower so I can show you that. And then um, we'll do my hair. We'll see if I can get the camera set up in there correctly. But, yeah, I just thought I'd do a get ready with me video. I have a couple things I need to do later. My husband will probably be home around 12, 30, 1 o'clock. And I just want to be all done with this, with this video and stuff by then. So, I'm going to go ahead and... And go jump in the shower. So I'll be back in a few or in a the blink of an eye. Okay, gypsies, I am back. I just got out of the shower, brushed my teeth and all that fun stuff. I've got my Turby twist on. I think these came out maybe in the mid to late 90s. And it's called a Turby twist. And I'm going to link it in my Amazon favorite items. Because I did get this on Amazon. I love it. Like when it's clean. Like, I mean, I'll use it several times in a row on my clean hair. So anyway, I just wanted to mention the Turby twist. Let me know, guys, if you... If you had one of these back in the 90s, I absolutely love them. <laughs> okay, so just got out of the shower. I have not moisturized yet, but I still have some remnants of some makeup from yesterday. So even though, let me just show you what I washed my face with. Let's see. Hold on here. I have it here, but I have something else that matches it. So I'm just going to kind of show you both of them at the same time. Now I got all of my stuff here. So anyway, I got these at the Dollar General. So one day I went and found this. It's the St. Ives Glowing Oil-Free Face Moisturizer. 100% natural and it's in the scent Watermelon. So when I saw that it was in the scent Watermelon, I'm like, I have to grab this up. How wonderful. And it smells absolutely wonderful. It's very non-greasy. It feels water-based, I guess, so for oily skin. But it just smells so good. Like, I had to have it. So I'm going to use it all up. I don't know if I would recommend it. Like For oily skin, yes. But for my skin, it's not oily at all. So I like something just a tad more creamier feeling. But anyway, uh, someone told me that they ha had a daily cleanser as well to match that so i'm like i went back like the next day even just to see if i could find it and i found it and this is what i keep in my shower every time i take a shower i wash my face with this and it is just like it, it smells exactly like if you are eating a watermelon you know all that juice that kind of pulls down if you have a piece of watermelon and you're eating it with a fork all that juice that kind of pulls down in your plate and stuff this smells identical to that. I mean, there, I, I honestly, I can't believe how close it does smell to watermelon. Seriously. <laughs> if you guys like watermelon, might want to check this out. I don't know if I have this in my Amazon favorites or not. Uh, I might, uh, simply because I did get this at Dollar General. I cannot remember how much it was. I'm thinking maybe $6. I'm not sure. You might actually get a better deal on Amazon. Uh, check down my Amazon favorites. I might have this listed for a better price down there. Um, and that is in the description box. Um, it says, we love watermelon. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that. I'm just going to throw on, well, no, first I'm going to take these. This is the Sassy and Chic. Now, I'm going to be very detailed in this video, guys. And also, I'm going to do a closet walkthrough at the end, um, when, you know, when I'm trying to decide what I'm going to wear for the day. I'm going to do a little closet walkthrough just so you guys can see my closet while it's not in too much disarray. So, it's sort of a mini room. So, anyway, this is the Sassy and Chic Micellar Makeup Remover Wipes. I like these. I think these do a really excellent job. And since I do still have some leftover... 
makeup on um, mascara. I'm just going to take these over my eyes real quick and then I'm going to moisturize with that, with that stuff. So I'm just going to show you all the products that I typically use every day. And these are just, you know, ju these are just the wipes that were handy whenever I needed wipes, you know, to go in my makeup bag over here. So that's why these are in here. They're usually I have a Bolero wipe in here. So either or. And this, you know, I'll probably still have some lash glue on here. Typically I'll use the, um, the lash glue, or not the lash glue. The, um, when I find it, I'll show you guys. All right, so I'll save this because normally I will need to wipe some kind of mascara or something off my hand. So I'm just going to put that there and I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of this moisturizer on. Um, it smells so good, guys. So this is what it looks like. It looks creamier than it really is. It's, it's very much gel based. So I love it. Love the smell. Honestly, I have it for the, because of the smell. I do. It feels so cool. <laughs> cool on my face. Just moisturize, moisturize. So I was doing a little bit of organizing yesterday. I have a little area in my room I decided to tackle. And I found a couple of makeup things in there that I decided I'm going to start using. It's palettes and some other things, but I'm like, I'm, I need to start using this stuff. So, yeah. So anyway, now um, that that's done, I have, this is the first makeup bag I go to. I got this at Walmart one day. I absolutely love it. It has this little pocket on the front, has my eyebrow trimmers in there, which I, I trimmed my eyebrows last week, I think, so I don't really need to do that. Although, let me just show you guys like how I do it, just because I feel like a lot of you guys have questions on that. So you have the little comb, and the side that the comb is on, I just kind of comb through my eyebrows like that and just give them a little trim. And because of the way that these are made, you're not going to cut your whole eyebrow off, but you're just going to leave a very short, you know, very short eyebrow. And then you can work over that with your eyebrow pencil or whatever you use. So on this side, I always have to go, how do I, I always have to go from up here just because <laughs> that's just the way that I have to do it. See that? You just comb and you get a little hair on there and then you just cut. Just like that. It's super easy, and I love these things. Like, before I would have to take my eyebrows, comb them straight up, and push them up, and take a little pair of scissors and to kind of cut across. But this right here eliminated all of that. So, I love that. I love those. Okay, so my next step is this right here. This is my hard candy sheer envy perfecting primer this is my favorite stuff on the planet like this stuff feels like you are putting pure silk on your face so there's what it looks like it's kind of a gel looking and i just rub it in fingers like this and then just go over all areas especially if you have an area that has more pores than others you know just kind of be more diligent with those areas Make sure you get them covered really good. I don't have a whole lot of problem with pores, but I just love this stuff. It is, it's wonderful. Okay, so there's that. And now I'm really, really needing to clean my makeup brushes. Um, but, yeah, I just have not done it yet. <laughs> um, this is my eyeshadow primer potion that I got. Now, I have no doubt that if you use this on your eye, what did I do with that? If you use this on your eyelids, it's probably going to prime your eyelids just fine. And if I didn't have this, I would use this. But before I realized that that was so wonderful, I actually ordered this off of Ulta. It had a hefty price tag. I'm not exactly sure what it was, but I have been using it ever since simply because I do have it. I'm going to use it up. So it's Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the color Eden. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on right now. 
My mirror is dirty, pardon that. But this is this is my next step. Eyeshadow primer. I'll use a ton. I'll do that. And then I just take my finger and rub in. Just kind of blend it all over the lid because I do tend to use eyeshadow all over the lid. Yes. Yeah, I thought since I don't have a YouTube video coming out today, I'm mean, YouTube Dollar Tree haul coming out today. I might as well do a get ready with me because I've had several people ask like about the products I use and like what brushes and ask me to do my eye makeup especially. So this is just everything all rolled up into one. Okay, my next step is going to be my foundation, which I put this on Instagram, guys, and I think I even showed it in um, another video that I did, maybe a vlog. This is the Catrice Cosmetics HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. Lasts up to 24 hours. This is in the color Rose Beige. This is definitely on my Amazon favorites. Um, this is only $11, guys, and it is absolutely the best foundation I have ever used, honestly. So, I saw a tip that somebody was given, like, I think I saw it on TikTok, because I always used to um, put, this is my brush, this is on my Amazon favorites as well, this is the, I always have a hard time reading this, Sigma flat kabuki brush so it's a flat kabuki brush it needs wash in the worst way actually it's on my list today to clean my makeup brushes i'm gonna use it one more time but somebody like i would always squeeze this and just you know put my um foundation on the brush and then apply it but she said that most of your foundation just goes down in there and you waste a lot and the best thing to do is either put this like on a flat surface and then use your brush to do that or I have another way that I've been doing it that I saw something else I think it was on a TikTok as well like if you want some life-changing hacks guys get you a TikTok account okay because I've seen so many things on there that I'm like what so what I'm gonna do is just apply just a little bit here and there okay just like that okay no waste nothing so now I'm just going to take my brush guys and start blending and all of the product is on my face not in the middle of my kabuki brush so this Foundation is amazing. I probably could have used one shade lighter, but they had like so many shades. I honestly could not decide which one to do. So I may try one shade lighter next time. But I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like this is, I mean, it's very good, like, as far as a color match. I feel like it's a very good. I did get a rose, because I do have kind of pinkish undertones to my skin, so let's just blend really good. Let me look in my mirror just to make sure I'm getting everything blended. Mm-hmm. Okay. There we go. I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay. So there's that. Definitely getting a clean and later. I did find some, um, like whenever I was looking through, I had some stuff put over there. I don't know why, but these are from, I, I think I got this for, yeah, that, it even says BoxyCharm on the front. These are BoxyCharm. Um, it doesn't really say, but these, I'm, I think I know for sure these are um, foundation and it's this kind right here and these things feel so soft so I'll probably start using these or at least this big one either or either one really and then I don't really know like if you could use this for anything else I'm not really sure I think it's probably why I haven't used them yet so but I'm gonna start using up this stuff in this bag I found this 
in this Wonder Woman bag, like all kinds of palettes and stuff. And I'm like, I need to start using that stuff. I even found this. Um, which is a brow bar and I'm not going to use it today just because I want to show you guys like what I normally do but after today I'm going to start using more of that as well. So next thing um, that I typically do is blush and this is my blush brush. It needs wash too. Um, this is just, I think I got this in an Ipsy bag or something. Honestly, Alamar or something. Just a blush brush will do though. And really, just any kind of blush brush will do. So this is the bag that I have my blush and stuff like that in. So go ahead and dig this out. This is the one that I've been using. So this is the one I'm going to use today. Um, this is from Pacifica. And I think I got this like in a boxy charm, but I just really love the colors of these. You can see it's kind of well used. I kind of mix the colors together. I just like the color that, that it gives me. So I just kind of go in on that color and then that color and then boom, I go on in this area right here. Try to give myself a fake, <laughs> fake contour, a fake cheekbone or something. It's going to look kind of dark, but I'm going to get my powder. Take care of that. Take care of that situation. Okay. There's that. That's all I use out of that bag. I put my brushes back in my brush bag as I go. This is my Ipsy Betty Boop. I keep my brushes in there. Just the ones that I use like every day. I have like four that I use every day. All right. Next, I'm going to go in with this right here. I think I put this on Amazon Favorites as well. Um, I did get this at Dollar General, though. This is the original Airspun Loose Face Powder by Cody. This was $6 at Dollar General. It's translucent extra coverage. So I like it. So basically it comes with a powder puff. Yeah. So basically I just go over my whole face. See how it blends in that blush really good to make it look not so harsh. I just kind of use this to kind of set my foundation and just give it a more matte finish and then I can put my highlighter wherever I see fit wherever I want to glow okay there we go that's all I need from that next I use my highlighter and the highlighter that I use what, what, where 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 let me think where is my highlighter what bag is it in? I got so many bags. Okay, it's in my main bag. Okay, so this is... Now, Hard Candy has so many highlighters right now. This is the one that I like best. This is the Hard Candy Just Glow Rose Gold Highlighter. And let me show you. It looks like this. And then when you open it up, it looks like this. It has like three different colors. This color mixed with the other colors. This sort of gives you like a really good... I don't know a really good glow <laughs> so this is the brush that I use for my highlighter this is a complex culture blush br or brush it's just kind of um it's just kind of I don't know more condensed like so I feel like it really works good with some kind of you know highlighting powder so this is my highlighting brush and what I do is I take it over all three colors just like that and I smile just like that okay and then I go down through the forehead middle of the forehead top of the nose chin and I usually take my finger and just go right here which once I start sweating that's gonna disappear <laughs> all right so there's my highlighter okay and I'm officially done with this bag, so I'm going to go ahead and put it back in my case along with my wipes, my makeup case. 
Can't wait to give you guys a tour of my closet. I don't know. Decide what to wear. <laughs> okay, um, next thing I usually do is my brows. So what I'm going to do is, where's my, oh, this is the one I keep a lot of stuff in. Like it has a lot of my pencils. It says, eat glitter for breakfast and shine all day. But it's very sparkly. Can you see that? I love this bra I love this bag. Um, yeah, I have a lot of my favorite glosses, lipsticks, and stuff like that in here. Also, I have like, if you've never used these, these are great. It's just a little, sort of like a little razor. You got a lid, you know, to put on it. A lot of times I'll use this just to make sure I have a, like a line right here. I just did this the other day, so I really don't need to do it. Also, if you're a queenager like me and you are starting to get a few little whiskers, I will use this on that too. So, yes, ma'am. I do. <laughs> whiskers. Um, yeah, okay. So, also my Mira, which is a, I need to wipe this off. It's like a five times or ten times, you know, where you can really see really good. Um, I always use this whenever I pluck any stray eyebrows, so, and I always use this to apply all the rest of my eye makeup and stuff. So, the first thing we're going to do is, get this out, I'm also going to get my tweezers, just in case I see any. So, this right here is, this is definitely on my um, Amazon favorites. This is by Maybelline. It's Total Temptation. This is in the color, it's brow definer in the color medium brown. Now this is my darkest one. I do have a light brown in there too. I'm going to go ahead and go in with the medium brown today. What I like about this is it has this little brush on the end. Um, so if you want to brush, you know, brush it out. I usually do this before and after. And then the tip looks like this. Yeah, so what I do is I outline the outside edges of my brows first, and then I fill them in after that. That way I can make sure they look as close to the same as possible. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and start outlining. And that's where, like, if you have your tweezers, they come in handy because you can see anything outside of the outline area needs to go. Like, it just needs to go. So I do that, and then I try to make this line as straight as possible. Just like that. Okay? Just like that. Then I fill it in. Okay. Now sometimes I'll go down this way just a little bit more than my eyelashes, than I have any eyebrows. Just because sometimes I get over dramatic and maybe pluck a few too many right here. But you can't tell. Like you totally can't tell that there's no eyebrows right there. I keep wanting to call them eyelashes. Alright, so there's that side. Okay, so same thing over here. Just outline first. I hope everybody is having a fantastic Memorial Day weekend. We are doing absolutely nothing. And I'm not sad about it. Like, I'm okay. Okay. Now I'm going to fill it in. much pluck like stray hairs every day that way they don't get out of control I don't have to run to a place and have eyebrows waxed you know you can kind of keep up with it yourself 
if you do a couple every single day, you know, just look for the ones that are outside of the area of your eyebrows and just get rid of them. And then your, your, your eyebrows will always be looking fine. Yeah. Okay, so what I didn't... I feel like that needs to come down a little further, but I'm just going to go ahead and stop there. What I didn't do, though, is take this brush, like I usually do. So if there's any, like, brush marks in there, this kind of helps, like, tone them, like, like, just blend everything together. And I feel like I have a little bald spot right there, so, you know. You see this right here? There we go. Okay, guys, so there's the, the brows. <laughs> okay, next, I think I'm going to go ahead and do lipstick and then eyeshadow. So, lipstick, I'm going to use that one lipstick that I have shown you guys that is my fave, if it's in here. Um, I, I feel like I may have took it out to show you guys and don't know what I've done with it after that. So, yeah, let's see it in here. Huh. Weird! Okay. Look at this. Look at all this. This is like what I have in this bag. There's a ton of pencils, eyebrow, just everything. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab what I need out of here. I'm going to need that. And I'll show you guys. I'm going to need... Where is it? This. My fave right now. Okay. Alright, guys. So, now... Um, like I said, lipstick. This is a Dollar Tree. I'm going to go ahead and use this. This is a Dollar Tree. This is called All Matte Up. It is in the color. What's the color? Oh. Sticks and Stones. So, this is it. Let's see. This is a hard candy as well. So, this is what this looks like. It's a lip stain. It's a hydrating lip stain, though. There's what it looks like. So I'm going to go on in. I think it's a great mauve color. Okay, it's flat. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, after using that, I'm going to go in on top of that with this right here. This is a hard candy as well. It's a plumping serum. Um, it's in the color Birthday Suit. I really love this. I think it's really pretty. And if you don't want a flat look, always, you can always put a gloss. <laughs> okay. There's that. Now, let's go in with some eyeshadow. <coughs> As you guys know, I always use um, Morphe palettes. Like, that is my favorite palettes of all time. But I'm going to... I'm going to quickly show you guys some of the palettes that I'm going to be rocking out over the next few weeks because I want to get, you know, I want to use these palettes. I just don't want them sitting here just because I'm addicted to Morphe. So I'm going to show you guys what I have in here. These are palettes that I got um, through usually uh, like BoxyCharm or, you know, you know, like that. But this palette is called In Living Color and it is by... Hank and Henry, yeah, Hank and Henry in Living Color. Um, I looked at this yesterday, and I was like, yes. Like, why have I not used that? Probably because it doesn't have, like, a highlighting, a light white or light, you know, a really light color for my inner corners. But I can just, you know, grab something from my, one of my other ones. But these are very sparkly looking. Well, the top row and the bottom row, well... These two, and then the top row. I love the colors, so I'm going to be working on that one. 
And then this one here is, is called Celestial Thunder. Can you see how gorgeous this is? This is by Kristen, Christian Dominique. I'm not a makeup guru as far as, oh, it's Dominique Cosmetics. So as far as like, it still has like this thing on there and I don't think I've ever used it. Like I might have swatched it. Yeah, those colors, man, I don't know. Like this is a great color, this right here is a great color. I don't know how, how pigmented it is. I love this color here too and this. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> and then I also have, now somebody had sent me this for the life of me. I'm so sorry, but I cannot remember who it was that sent me this. I'm, it's between two people that I'm thinking in my mind. Um, this is a Wonder Woman palette, which is really, really cool. I mean, first of all, look at it. It's awesome. I, now, I have used this a couple times. Um, this is, you have like a little mirror right here, which is cool. But you also have these colors here, as you can see. And then you also have like a blush. And there is a eyeliner, an eyeshadow primer in here. There's a red, red lipstick like Wonder Woman. And like the name of these are all really cool. Like Legendary Pink, Amazon Princess, um, Valiant, Secret Identity. Just really cool. So I want to use these up. And then, let's see here. I got... Let's see, this right here is from Wander Beauty. It says Trip for Two. This is a blush and a brush uh, bronzer duo. So this is, yeah, Wonder Beauty. So you got a mirror on top and then you got a blush. What, was it? what did I say? A blush bronzer duo. I mean, like, that's probably the color bronzer I need, like, because I don't really need bronzer. Like, I don't really even get it in the sun. Like, I don't. I don't. I'm not much on it. Um, this is from Nomad. This is an Ipsy. It wasn't an Ipsy. This is called, well, Sydney Bathers. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. But this was, I guess, her collection. Let's see here. So, it was still in the box. And, oh, this is a Kiss of Sun palette. So, this is kind of a bronzer, too. Probably a highlight blush bronzer combo, and I'm just saying, like, I'm digging it. I'm digging these because I can see, like, some, yeah, some sparkle, like, some highlight. I like that. That's a pretty bronzer. That's a pretty bronzer palette. Okay, um, this one right here. This is so cute. This is called Fairy Tales Storybook Cosmetic. Look, it looks like a book. Definitely, this was a boxy charmer Ipsy. It looks like a book, and it sells fairy tales. It says "Once Upon a Time," um, which, which this is Robin Hood. So this is Robin Hood. Look how cute that is. I mean, come on. So here's the palette, and this is all that's in it. It makes you think that there's going to be like more in it, but this is it. Um, I'm really digging like this bottom corner. Look at that gold at the top. Yeah. So, how cute is that? And I think it's all the palettes I have. So, but what I'm going to do is go in with my Norm because I told you guys I'm going to use what I normally use. Um, I think I'm going to do my purple eye look. This is because I haven't done it in a few days and I really like it. So, this is my Morphe palette, guys. Um, I think this is the one with the purple. Let me double check. Yeah, so this is the Morphe palette. Oh, oh, stunning vibes. It's definitely my Amazon favorites. So if you are looking for any of this stuff, you can find it in the in, under in my description box. Um, yeah, it'll take you directly to it if you're interested in it. But stunning vibes. So I'm definitely going to do the purple look today. I just love the purple look. So we're going in. So, I do use these right here, guys. I mean, I do. Let me get my brush. I have, these are from Dollar Tree. I don't really use brushes on my eyes. Like, I don't use eye makeup brushes. I just, I just don't. I feel like they give me way too much fallout underneath my eyes. And I hate that. It just really irks me. This is the Sassy and Chic. I'm almost out. I need to pick up some more next time I go. But it's the Sassy and Chic. And it's just these 
these little suckers right here. I'm going to get a new one because this one I feel like is getting ready to fall apart. Sometimes you'll be using them and the sponge will pop off or they'll just break right in half. So, yeah, it's like a matchstick or something. But this one I have used for um, makeup before or for purple before. So, I'm just going to go in with the darkest. No, I'm going to go in not with the darkest. I'm going to go in with the lightest purple, which is still dark, and it's called Crush. And it looks like a purple grape crush to me. Like, it's a very pretty color. You can see this one. This one right here. Yeah. So, it's very, it also has some sparkle to it. So, um, I'll just take this on my crease. Always go in on that crease with your darkest colors. Okay. Take it out as far as you need to. I usually go, like, usually around the end of my um, eyebrows is where I'll kind of end it and try to go into, a, like, a little point. But, yeah. All right. So, I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to go in with some more of this, and I'm going to start from the middle of my eyelid on the bottom and go right on over to the end. And I'm going to leave the front part of that with no makeup because I use light colors there. So anyway, there's how that looks, okay? It'll lighten up because we're gonna use some um, lighter shades and just kinda go over all that. Next thing I do is go underneath my eyes with this dark color. And I do have a little fallout with this um, applicator, but not nothing as if I would have, like if I was using a brush, there'd be way too much. Okay. All right, and there's the first one, just like that. Okay, now what I'm going to do is go in. I usually use this brush just to dust off any fallout. That's what this brush is for, for me. This is just a Farrah. It says a cheeky end. I don't know what it's for, but it's what I use it for. Like, I never know. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye. Go in with that same color. I think I'll wear, find me a purple shirt for today as well. So let's hit that crease. Hit that crease up. Okay. Middle of the eyelid over to the end. And let me just say, don't be afraid to wear color. I don't care how old you are. I'm going to wear color. I'm going to wear purple when I'm 90. I'm telling you. Like, you do you. If you like it, you do you. Don't worry about what anybody else thinks, guys. This is our life. Nobody else's. We are not here to impress anyone else. I wear what I like. Some days I'm in the mood for blue. Some days I'm in the mood for brown. Some days purple. Some days mauve. Some days none. Some days black. Like, whatever you're in the mood for, go for it. It's your life, guys. Have fun. Have fun. Okay, there's that. I'm going to go ahead and go in with this brush. Get any fallout. Now, what we're going to do. I'm going to go in with some light. Now, I have a color here that I use all the time. It's called Knockout. It's the one in the top corner right here where my finger is. It's almost white. This is the one I go in the corner and then I will also go over, well, I don't know. I'm going I'm to go in with the corner right now with this. Let's see how that goes. Sometimes the purple will get mixed in there a little bit too much for me and I'll apply something else, but I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. See how that purple kind of got mixed in with the inner corner? I try to keep that from happening too much. So, I try not to go overboard with this or else it'll start really getting mixed in a lot. So, I'm just going to go in the other side as well.
Okay. It's kind of the inner, inner corner look. Now, what I want to do is get a little bit of a darker, but still super light. Where'd that go? It flipped out of my hand. That's not it. Honestly. There it is. Okay. So, this is still light, but not that white light. So, I'm going to go in. I'm going to... I'm going to kind of go over the outside edges of this and just up to the brow and blend. Just like that. Okay. Same thing on the other side. I usually go all the way up to my brows with that. Okay. It's blended pretty good. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and stop there just because I feel like it's blended good. I might put a little bit more of the white in that inner corner. Just because I like to have some, like, let me show you guys. Way inner. Like, just like that. See that? I like to have it there. I don't know why. I feel like it just brightens up the eye. So, I get it like on the tip. And then I just go on back. Okay. There's that, guys. Now, I'm going to dust under both eyes again. Wow, it takes me a while to get ready, doesn't it? 40 minutes in already. Usually... Usually it doesn't take me this long. Okay, guys. So the next thing I do is um, bottom bottom liner. And this is any bottom liner will do. This is a hard candy stay in line mechanical gel liner. So it has a little blendy. Thing on the end, I usually don't really blend. I just kind of put it on my bottom line, my bot right here. I'll show you. I'll try to do it right with the camera, with the phone. Just a little something extra up in there. My eyes are burning. You remember taking, like, back in the 80s, if you did this, like, you had the eyeliners and, um, I see something different and I don't, I'm about to fix it. Um, but, like, you would keep a lighter in your makeup bag, guys, and you would actually melt the tip of those so it would go on, like, super, super black. I remember that, like, it was yesterday. I remember getting it too hot sometimes and burning the crap out of yourself. So there's my bottom. Okay, I have to fix something. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. This dark purple is up higher than this dark purple. So basically, all I really need to do is find the sponge that I used. I'll show you what I'm talking about. It's right here. It still has dark purple on it. So what I'm going to do is just go... Just a little bit. Just so it can be like the same. I'll go back over that highlighter a little bit. Okay. That's a little better. I just can't stand if they're uneven. Okay, so I'm officially done with this thing. So I'm gonna put that in my blush my brush bag. Oh, I'll put those in the wrong bags. Okay. I've got way too many, too much makeup, guys. Way too much. Let me just say, it's it's done. Flowed over to two bags. Two. I'm not talking little. Like the Wonder Woman bag is the smallest of the two. So yeah. Okay. So now I'm gonna go in with my top hard candy again. My top wing eyeliner, eyeliner. Stroke of Gorgeous Color Liquid Liner. This is in the color back black to basic. That's what it looks like. The little fine tip marker. Oh, 
Oh, I've been sitting here too long. Okay, so here we go. I'm just going to go in quick as possible. Take that liner out far as you feel like it. Whatever mood you're in, rock that wing. I'm going to show you something else that I like too sometimes. Especially when I'm wearing this purple. I got this Stilla sparkly stuff I really like. This is going to be a long video, guys, and I apologize because I'm going to do my hair and everything. Seriously. Okay. That's the wing I'm doing today. There's that. Now, this is what I want to show you guys. This eye has been twitching, like, for two weeks now. They say it's stress. I don't know. I just don't know. But I ordered these. I don't. And I'm not sure if these are my Amazon favorites or not. It was a three pack. It's Stilla, and like they are like sparkly. This one's called Glitter and Glow, in the color Infinite. So this is a purple, a purple sparkly something. Um, I like to put a little bit of this on my crease as well. Just to get a little extra sparkle in there when I'm wearing purple. Just like that. Can you see the difference? Yeah, so I just like this stuff. Do the same thing over here. I just feel like it really goes with this purple and it's really the only time I wear this purple one. I just gotta have a really light hand with this stuff though. Yeah, baby. Ooh, I like the glitter. I love it. Okay. That's a little damp so you can let it dry a little bit. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna do is go in with some um, Mascara. I use a little bit of mascara, and then I'm gonna put, put me on some fake eyelashes. So um, this is a hard candy, stroke of gorgeous, bold color mascara in jet black. I love this mascara. This was a Dollar Tree find as well. Actually, I think somebody sent me this. I think it might have been Diane um, from Fontana, California, had sent me this, and I love it. So I'm gonna go in on my top. Not a lot on the top since I'm putting fake falsies or whatever you put, want to call them. Okay, this is some really good uh, uh, mascara. And then bottoms, definitely. Open mouth is optional. I try not to do it on camera, but when I'm not on camera, look out. I'm like, you know, that's how we roll. That is how we roll. Oh, I had my mouth open just then, didn't I? Just not wide. <laughs> That's funny. Every time I look in the mirror, I see new wrinkles. That's what makes me a queen -ager, though. Right? Okay, I'm still waiting on some pics from you Got Well, you probably ain't got your t-shirts yet. I just got mine yesterday, and I bought, I bought it the day I made it. So, like, you're probably waiting on yours. I cannot wait to get some pics of you guys in that, though. So cool. So cool! Okay, guys, I'm going to go in with some fake lashes now. This is what I keep my lash glue and stuff like that in. It reminds me of the Ruby Slippers off The Wizard of Oz, which is my favorite movie of all time. 
I also love Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, can I say? I'm going to go in. I'm going to wear these today. This is an L.A. color, Dollar Tree, L.A. colors. I think I've worn them once or twice before. This is Jewel Eyes, false lashes, one pair. Um, yeah, I don't really have a specific. Oh, it looks like maybe it's in the, in the um, Wonder. It says Wonder on there. So maybe that's what they're calling them. So anyway, I'm going to open them up. Whoop. Open them up. I've got my glue here. This is the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive which I'm almost out of, but I, I have to find my other glue that I have up in here and just get it together. So anyway, take my lash off. I just hold it. I don't even use any applique, any like those little tweezer things anymore. I just hold it. I just brush this right on the line and I'll show you guys. This is starting to get old. This goes on white, but it dries clear, so you can kind of see where you're putting it, but then it's like, after you get it put on, it like dries clear. I'm definitely running out. All right, so if you guys can see that, yeah. So this is gonna be from my right eye. So what I'm gonna do is just blow it for a second just to make sure it gets nice and tacky. Tacky baby. Okay. I start, I just try to put the middle, right in the middle of my eye. So, middle in, as close to your eye lashes as possible. Put the middle in, and then I just press down the outer edge. Oops. If you get glue on your fingers, look out. It makes it ten times as hard. And then the inner edge. And with that inner edge, I try to hold it down for a second just because I think that's the most crucial part is that inner edge. Because if it starts slipping up, like you can, that's, that's the part that's noticeable. Like if someone's talking to you, it's not the outer edge, it's that inner edge if it slips up. See, this is not laying good. Sometimes it just does not want to lay right. Okay, I'm gonna hold it now. Just for a second. All right. You can't really tell with that purple background, but yeah, that's the end. That's the end. Okay, let me do my other one. Last one. Then we'll go get, get the hair done. We'll go do the hair. I'm just gonna do a blowout. I'm not gonna do much with it. I might do a couple flat iron, but. Anyway, here's this one. Hold it between my fingers and get some of this glue on. Eek. <laughs> I'm going to trash this when I get done. I'm not fooling with it anymore. Like, it's, it's done. It's clumpy. It's done. Uh, you just can't hold on to stuff forever like I try to. All right. Trash, baby. Blow it. Make it tacky. And then go in. Um, I, I was going to say, a lot of you guys had mentioned that my eye looked, this eye here, looked swollen the other day. Honestly, I noticed that too, my video. Honestly, I think that this is the side of my neck that I have all the trouble out of and the side of my body. Honestly, I think, I don't know if a pinched nerve can cause it or, or not, but I'm honestly thinking that the pin, that I have a pinched nerve in my neck, because I, I suffer, I suffer, baby, I suffer, but I am thinking that that pinched nerve is, is causing something here, like, I don't know, 
can you tell like this eye lo looks like less I don't know if it does today now that day this because I have all this eye makeup on but that day I totally noticed that and I'm like man that looks ridiculous but like yeah a couple of you guys had mentioned it if my eye was swollen but I swear I think it has something to do with that pinched nerve it is ridiculous like okay there's my makeup guys I'm gonna go set this up in the bathroom um, so I can get some, you know, I'm going to blow dry my hair and maybe put a cut or straighten it a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and do that with you guys as well. This is getting to be a very long video, but it's okay, right? It's okay. Okay, guys, so I'm in my bathroom. I'm going to go ahead and take my hair down. Um, yeah, it's a mess. It's almost dry. I was in there so long. So I always hang my towel on my door here. Just so it can dry for next time. So I hope this this thing holds up. Um, first thing I do is use some of this right here. It's Biotin Boost, thickens and detangles, free of sulfates, five-in-one leave-in spray. I really love it. I'm almost out of it. My daughter gave it to me. I think she got it at Ulta. So I'm just gonna go in with some spray here and I'm gonna put my contacts into here in a second. Um, my comb that I use all the time, like, even with long hair, it's so easy to comb your hair out with this. <laughs> I haven't been losing as much hair as I did, so that's a good thing. I don't know if it's because I got my hair cut. I'm going to be coloring it soon, guys. Definitely. Definitely, and I'm excited about it because I can definitely see my roots. I don't know if you got, yeah, you can't really tell with it dark, but yeah. Definitely. Okay, so that's all I'm going to put in it. I'm going to throw my contacts in really quick, so I'm going to wash my hands really fast. Hope that holds up. You guys are truly getting ready with me today, aren't you? <laughs> okay. Got my contacts up here. This is my case from the Dollar Tree, guys. I got a hair somewhere. Okay, so both of my eyes are the same, so left or right, either way. One thing about these cases, like a lot of times if you lift that up, this is stuck on there, which irritates me. So I'm just gonna move that out the way. So I'm just gonna get my contact out. Contact out. Pop it in. Okay, next side. It did the same thing. How ridiculous. OMG. Where's, oh, there it is. So, where's my contact? Okay. Boom, baby. Done. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and do a little bit of blow drying. Um, I like to use this. This is just a, it doesn't say, I don't know where I got this, but, but it's a ceramic, so it helps, like you can dry your hair. Yeah, so this is, might be loud for a second. Actually, I'm, I'm going to stop the video, start it back up, that way I can speed it up and take out that loud noise, okay? So, be right back. and okay I got it all done here I just did kind of a round brush type of blowout or whatever so it's probably I'm probably not going to do much more than this with it today honestly because I'm not even going out of the house no I am actually going out of the house but I think it's going to be okay 
So anyway, let's go in a closet tour really fast and find me something to wear. Be right back. Okay, guys, so this is the infamous, infam, infamous room. When we first moved in, I'm like, oh, yes. So this is like a sliding door and like a whole tiny room. And yeah, I'll show you guys. This is my closet room, my changing room, my dressing room, my storage room, like just a little bit of everything. That is all of my clothes. I also have winter coats, sweaters, everything else hanging up there. Well, it's not all my clothes because right here I have my leggings that I wear all the time. Um, this is a tapestry that Miss Sheila had sent to me and I'm actually wanting to hang that tapestry right here on this wall. And so I have that laying here so I can see if Fifi might be able to help me out with that the next time she comes over because I love this tapestry. As you can see, it's a sun and it's pretty awesome but anyway I have that laying there so Fifi can help me um, these are uh, like all of my leggings I don't really hang them up just because I don't want to fill up all of the closet area because over here I have a lot of things that I like to get in here as you can see I have a lot of Dollar Tree storage bins and like that's all my puzzles up there just like molds and just like empty bins things waiting to have stuff put in it um, yeah, so that is all my 4th of July stuff that I'm raring to go on. I got coloring books here. I've got just, as you can see, just all kinds of Dollar Tree storage bins and stuff and stuff in all of them. I have two things right here and what is in those is mainly notebooks and pens and stickers. So I really need to go through that and donate some of that stuff just so I can maybe put socks and undies in one of those. <laughs> So anyway, this is my leggings. This is like storage. I have like purses in one of these. I have like sheet sets in one of these. And these three are empty, waiting to be filled up. Um, I usually use those like as I get stuff for Christmas. Like right there is my Christmas bin right now. Right now I'm working on that. I also have stuff that goes on in my sh on my holiday shelf up in there these two bags three bags right here are the donation bags so I'm, I'm working on that I went through a lot of stuff yesterday putting you know getting gathering up donation stuff so I already got almost three full bags so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and lay this here hold on hold on okay guys so this is mainly my shirts and stuff so I'm just gonna go ahead and Try to find something to wear today. This is like one of my favorite things ever. I love this thing so much. But it's probably going to be a little warm today. So I'm not going to wear it. Um, yeah, I don't think I can really look through this stuff with you guys. With me. I'm going to lay this tapestry right here. Let me. I think I'm going to go ahead and wear these leggings today though. Because they are absolutely awesome. Look at these. This was friend mail. Gypsy mail. Definitely. So I'm going to wear these although my husband loves these yeah but these are actually the same kind so I'm gonna wear these and then uh, I want to see if I can find me a purple top to go with this I don't feel like wait a minute I mean I have my Prince and the Revolutions top but I feel like that thing is just so big I'm not gonna grab it there's a fly water but it's brand new it has never been used so don't get flipped out about that that says witch hair don't care um Let's see. See, I don't have a whole lot of purple. <laughs> Why? I don't know, but wait, what's this? That's long sleeved. Although, I might wear that. What do you think? What do you think? This with my purple eyeshadow. I think I'm going to go for it. Okay, guys, I'm going to go get dressed and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm going to let you in on this little secret. This is where I come when I need to cool down, okay? This is at the foot of my bed. I have a fan, which is filthy, so I'm not going to show it. Well, I'm going to show it. Why not? Like, I'm the only human. That fan has got some dust up in there, okay? Um, I have it sitting up on this little thing, and when I need to cool down, I just come sit at the foot of my bed and just let it blow on me. So, yeah. So, I'm dressed. My hair is, like... I still might have to take it straightener to it. I don't even know. Like, thanks for hanging out with me today, by the way, guys. While I'm getting ready. So, I'm just so hot right now. I'm going to show you guys another little detail of my uh, existence. Like, where I keep all my earrings. 
and necklaces and it's a mess so I'm just I'm just saying I told you guys before that it was a mess a messy area um, that I needed I need to work on organizing it and it is and you guys will see so let's turn the camera around and go for it okay guys this is the back of my bedroom door um, so this is where I keep all my earrings so this is just a little organizer thing and there is like all kinds of my earrings just as you can see there's a ton crammed up in here so like wow yeah so anyway I have to every every single day I come through here I have to dig through here and try to find which earrings I want like I typically wear the same ones over and over because they are like just so you know I can't really see them all that great I think I'm gonna pick these out for today Ow, what did I just drop? Oh, I think I dropped the other one. Hold on. Mm, yeah. So I think these will go good with my purple shirt. And I know I have a necklace like this that my hubby bought that actually goes with this. So I don't know if I wear it or not. But anyway, this is my necklaces. Um, I told you I had two. Look at the dust on that, okay? Let's just get real. There's dust on that, guys. Um, but anyway, yes, this are, these are my necklaces. That's my GoPro. I never did learn how to use that sucker. Um, that's just a hat that I wear sometimes. But there is four hooks on each one of these. And can you see how many necklaces is up in here? Yeah, like so many. Yeah, like, but I think this purple. How would that look with me today? I don't know. I feel like it's a bit much. I don't know. I'm going to hold off on that. But anyway, yeah. And this is just some more of my jewelry and just different things. There's some of my perfume. And this is just a mess. I need to organize. I need to, to organize this area. Yesterday, I had stuff piled up from the floor right here all the way up to about right here. That's what I organized yesterday. So I've got room in there. I'm gonna put a bin with drawers for all of my nail stuff, like, and put it right there in the corner. <coughs> so I still have a lot of work to do up in here. There's where I hang some of my hats. I have a full length mirror, which I couldn't even see yesterday. So yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys, even though it still looks atrocious, like this is an armoire, what do they call these? Or armoire? For jewelry I do have jewelry up in there but I can't get to it this right here raises up and there's jewelry down in, up in there this is a sewing box which probably needs to go somewhere else um, but like I have drawers jewelry drawers more jewelry and I have box drawers and these are like I don't know what's got me showing you guys all this these are like boxes of Avon jewelry sets and stuff they're really nice I just usually don't get in there I don't tell what I was in there but anyway yeah just wanted to show you guys this so I'm gonna get some jewelry on and I'll be back okay guys just doing the finish and touches I am gonna wear these blue navy blue converses that Fifi got me for my birthday so I'm slipping them on right now I'm actually going to go to Walmart today to get me a um, organizing drawer bin thing um, to put all my nails in. So I can get that done and get that stuff out from behind my door. I didn't show you that area, so yes. Um, put my perfume on. This is my, I don't even know, like I could ever pronounce it and it doesn't say on here. My husband's boss sent it to me. I love it. It's like one of my faves. Um, my hair just kind of went astray on me. So I got my, this is my Infinity Pro by Conair. I got it all heated up here and I'm just gonna, just gonna do just a little bit of something. I don't even know what. Just a little bit. Maybe take a little bit of that frizz out. I don't know. <laughs> I hate fooling with my hair. That's like one of my all-time least favorite things to do is fool with my hair. It's not even parted correctly.
I have a super expensive straightener, but this thing, I like it better because it has like the round edges on the outside. And like if I want to put a curl in, watch this, like it's so cool. Like I can start up here and just kind of, kind of wrap it around there like that and give me a curl. So if I wanted to do that, this is just so easy, you know, to do that. And some days I do that like all the way around, but today I'm not. I see my roots better now. <laughs> That's why I need to get them done. I mean, my whole hair, my whole head. Okay, so like, I fixed my hair one day with all those curls. Me and Jack got into Sam's. She's like, Nana, your hair is a mess. I'm like, thanks. Am I gonna spend all that time on it? All right, so now what I'm gonna do, let me show you guys. I've got my Aquanet. All you 80s girls remember this, don't ya? I'm just gonna just do a little spray and just do a little push up. Maybe get a little bit more volume. Okay, I'm leaving her. I'm leaving her there. Okay, so I'm ready. I'm ready for the day. Just wanna say thank you guys for getting ready with me. It was fun. And yeah, you probably saw a lot more of my house and stuff than you guys have ever seen. So yeah, that closet especially. Anyway, this is gonna be a long video. So I'm gonna say bye now and thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I'll be back tomorrow with a Dollar Tree haul. And yeah, thank you guys. Leave me a comment, tell me what you thought. Give me a thumbs up. Bye.